I've got the OnePlus 13 and let me show you how to record your screen. Now this is very simple. All you have to do is swipe down to the quick settings and on these quick settings tiles, look for screen recorder. So mine is right here. It's actually called screen recording. As you can see, this one right here. And that's the one you use to record your screen. Now, if it's not available on this quick setting tiles, then you can add it. Just tap on the three dot button in the top right corner and then select edit tiles. And then you can drag it from the more tiles section. Just look for it here. And if you find it, you'll just drag it to this section. So let me just remove it just to assume it's not there. So currently it's not there. It should be in more tiles. So what you need to do is simply tap on the plus icon and it's going to get added there. And then you can long press on it and drag it and place it exactly where you want. Now, once you do that, from now on, anytime you swipe down, you will see the screen recording icon. So to record your screen, just tap on it. And if it's a first time, obviously, there's going to be some permissions, like permission to record audio. I'm just going to select while using this app. And then you have the start recording dialog box. Now you can choose whether you want to include system sounds with your screen recording. If you want to, you can enable that. If you don't want to, you can leave it disabled. And then also you can choose whether you want to include microphone sound. So this could be the sound of you talking or just the sound of your environment. So depending on whether you want that or not, you can enable and disable these options. Now, once you choose whatever you want, just go ahead and tap on start recording. There's going to be a little dot right here at the top showing you that the recording is currently happening. So right now, as I speak, the phone is currently screen recording everything I'm doing and all the sounds I'm making. It's recording my sound, my voice as well. When I'm done, all I have to do is tap on the three dot here in the capsule. And during the recording, I can choose to mute system sound and unmute it as the recording goes on. Same goes for microphone. I can mute the microphone and unmute it during the actual screen recording. And then also I can pause and then continue. And then when I'm finished, I can just tap on stop and that's going to save that to my gallery. All screen recordings are saved in the gallery. So if I now go to the photos app, you can see I have the screen recording here. Let's, uh, let's play it and listen. showing you that the recording is currently happening. So right now, as I speak, the phone is currently screen recording everything I'm doing and all the sounds I'm making. It's recording my sound, my voice as well. So there's the screen recording. And if you want to, you can edit this screen recording. There's a built-in editor. You can trim, you can crop, you can add filters and all that stuff. You can choose uh, to share the screenshot from right here. You can delete it. And record a new one and then you have all these options to maybe set as private uh, move to a certain album whatever you want really now there are a couple of settings that in, uh, for screen recording that you can tweak in the settings of your oneplus 13. so if you go into settings and under settings scroll down and find accessibility and convenience tap on that and then under accessibility and convenience scroll down and tap on screen recording and then here you can set the default for whether you want to record system sounds or not if you want to record it by default enable that if you don't want to record it by default you can disable same goes for the microphone sound and then here you can choose the definition or rather resolution of your screen recording so it's currently set to 720p at 8 mbps if you want a higher quality recording, you can turn it up to 1080p, okay? And then of course you can choose your own specific uh, definition that you want and then tap okay in the top right corner. And then also you can choose frame rate. By default, it's set to dynamic, which means it automatically adjusts depending on what exactly you're recording. But then also you can choose 60 FPS or 30 FPS for your screen recording. So if you're recording gameplay, you might want to record at 60 fps it might be uh, i might make for some better video and then you have privacy protection it says stop notifications status bar updates and quick settings from appearing in your screen recording 
So as you're recording your screen, when you get a notification, do you want to include that in your screen recording or not? So if you want it included, you can leave that unchecked. If you want it to stop, uh, if you want your screen recording not to include your notifications and status bar updates, you can turn that on for enhanced privacy while recording your screen. And then you have the uh, indicator location. Where do you want it? Now, currently it's at the top here in what they're calling a floating window. You can see it right there in the status bar. You can choose uh, whether you want to disable live alerts or not during the screen recording. And then do you want to turn on the front camera uh, for your video recording? Now, if you want to, you can always go ahead and enable that. I'll just choose while using the app. And then you can choose to show screen touches. So everywhere you're touching and swiping, it's going to actually show the screen touches on the screen recording. And then you have the codec or rather the coding format. Now H.264 is the best for YouTube if you intend to upload to YouTube. But if you want just smaller video sizes, you can go to H.265. But I think H.264 is the best for me. And that's basically how you can tweak the settings regarding screen recording on your OnePlus 13. There's plenty of stuff you can tweak around and uh, just customize to exactly what you want. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, possibly even subscribe for more tips, and I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck.